Royal Caribbean has revealed information about Utopia of the Seas, and now we know what to expect on board, but what are the differences about Utopia compared to other Royal Caribbean Oasis-class cruise ships? I've got a list of them up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. If you're like me, you were super excited to hear all about Utopia of the Seas. Royal Caribbean announced its details on its sixth Oasis-class cruise ship, Utopia of the Seas, which will launch in July of 2024. But if you're like me, you probably thought, cool, this is amazing, being the sixth in the class, what makes this ship different? What's unique about it? And there are some notable differences between Utopia and her sister ships. Utopia will have five pools, three water slides, 21 dining venues, 23 bars, two casinos, and eight hot tubs. Utopia will be different from any other Oasis-class ship, including Wonder of the Seas, in that, she'll feature the brand new pesky Parrot Bar. This will be located in the Royal Promenade on Deck 5, effectively replacing the Bionic Bar. You might remember the Bionic Bar being that bar where the robots serve you drinks out of people. Well, that concept is gone with Utopia of the Seas. The Pesky Parrot is a new bar with a Caribbean flair. You'll find fruit-based beverages made with rum, tequila, and gin. Also returning to the Utopia of the Seas is the Mason Jar. Mason Jar was a new Southern American restaurant concept that first debuted on Wonder of the Seas. In fact, Utopia has much more in common with Wonder of the Seas than other Oasis-class cruise ships. If you really look at the Oasis class, you've got Oasis and Allure, you've got Harmony and Symphony, and then you've got Wonder and Utopia. And really, those pairs have more in common with each other than the rest of the fleet in terms of the rest of the class ships of amenities and features and whatnot. Utopia will have the View Bar, Playscape for Kids, One Flow Rider, El Loco Fresh, and an expansive Sweet Deck. All those features are things that we first saw on Wonder of the Seas, and they'll be returning to the Utopia of the Seas. Of course, if you've not sailed on Wonder of the Seas, well, then it'll be new to you. Likewise, guests will not find Izumi on Deck 4. Rather, this is where the immersive train dining experience will be located. Drawing inspiration from the allure of classic trains and their iconic dining cars, this new specialty restaurant will allow guests to dine in a restaurant that looks like a classic train car, complete with sights and sounds that are meant to immerse you in this fantasy. Royal Caribbean doesn't have a name for the restaurant yet, but they're calling it an immersive experience because it combines visuals and food together. Don't worry though, if you're a big fan of sushi like me, there's still going to be Izumi on board, but a new take on it because Izumi will be available on Utopia of the Seas. The dining venue will be located on Deck 8 and will replace where Giovanni's Wine Bar Kitchen is on Wonder of the Seas. Moreover, the brand new Izumi in the Park concept will be here too. Izumi will have doubled the teppanyaki tables and a new alfresco dining seating. Izumi in the Park is a new option that Royal Caribbean initially developed for Icon of the Seas, and it will continue with Utopia. Wonderland, however, is being removed completely from the ship. Royal Caribbean is moving Giovanni's Wine Bar and Kitchen to Deck 11 and 12, replacing the imaginative restaurant. So the new restaurant, of course, Giovanni's, will span two stories and has been reworked and has a new outside terrace called Gio's Terraza that overlooks the signature boardwalk. Other dining favorites will return to Utopia, like Chop's Grill, Hooked, and 150 Central Park. Utopia will also be the only Oasis class cruise ship to feature two Solarium Suites, which will be found on Deck 14 above each bridge wing. For example, one suite on the port side of the ship and one on the starboard side. According to Royal Caribbean, these staterooms will be similar to the ultimate panoramic suites that are found on the Oasis of the Seas. The Royal Loft Suite has a master loft and a downstairs bedroom that can accommodate up to six guests. And, of course, Utopia will have its own ultimate family suite, which has three bedrooms, an in-suite cinema, corner balcony, table tennis, and a two-story slide. Deck 15 will feature a poolside food truck, giving guests lounging by the pool another quick service dining option. And finally... Sprinkles Ice Cream Station will be bigger than ever, with three flavors to choose from and a new Sprinkles bar sure to make our YouTube editor's life way better on a cruise ship. So there you have a look at the differences between Utopia of the Seas and some of the other Royal Caribbean cruise ships in the fleet that are out there. Utopia of the Seas will be finalizing its construction as we speak, and it'll be ready in again 2024. The cruise ship is under construction at the Chantiers de l'Antique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire, France. And Utopia, again, is the sixth Oasis class cruise ship and she'll be launching in July of 2024. So let me know in the comments below, what are you most excited for with Utopia? What features and amenities really stand out to you that you can't wait to try out and you think are a major upgrade? And 
Are there any misses with Utopia? Let me also know down in the comments below. While you're down there, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets will have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.